In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 hot Gmail tips and tricks. And I'm sure some of these will really surprise and amaze you. So let's get into it. So just like your morning alarm clock, if you right click any email, you can choose to snooze that email until a later date and time, and then it'll hide that message from your inbox and then reappear later on. So if you don't wanna deal with it right away, you can just snooze it until later. And you can view all of your snoozed emails in the snoozed folder on the left, where you can access them right away and even unsnooze them if you want. If you're trying to clear up space in your account, there's a little trick to find all of the large emails with big file attachments in your account. Just click this little button here on the search bar, and then you'll see that you can actually search by file size. So we can put something here like 10 megabytes, and then you'll get all of the emails in your account with attachments over 10 megs. And then from there, you can go through and delete the ones you don't want. Really handy if you're running out of space and you wanna clean up some of the bigger emails. Now, this is a tip for managing your inbox a little better. If you don't use labels already, you're missing out and you definitely are gonna to wanna to consider it. To get started, just create two new labels, one called to do and another called saved for later. And then when you check your email, any email that requires you to take some sort of action, such as replying, just drag it over to your to-do folder, and that way you'll have a list of all the emails you need to take action on, all in one place, and they won't get lost in the clutter of your inbox or your archive. And for everything else that doesn't necessarily need a response, just move those emails to saved for later so you don't lose track of them, but don't see them in your inbox. And everything else you don't really need to hang on to, you can just delete it or archive it. And just by doing this on a regular basis, you'll usually have an empty inbox when you're done. And you'll also know exactly where to find all the emails that need your attention. In Gmail, when composing a new email, instead of sending it right away, you can schedule emails to be sent later. Just click the little arrow next to send and click schedule send and then pick the date and time to send it. Scheduled messages show up in the scheduled folder on the left. And from here, you can cancel send and get the email back to your draft again if you need to make changes or delete it. Do you have multiple email accounts that you need to send or receive from? Well, instead of jumping between accounts, Gmail actually lets you manage multiple email addresses all from one account. Just open settings, see all settings, accounts and import, and you can add additional accounts to send or even check email from. You can also forward emails to another address by opening forwarding and clicking add a forwarding address. By doing this, emails will automatically be forwarded to any other email account of your choosing. By the way, if you're getting value out of this video, hit like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell for more valuable content like this. If there's a particular email thread you keep getting replies to, but you don't want to see in your inbox anymore, just right click the conversation and choose mute. Now all emails in this conversation will automatically skip your inbox so you won't be bothered by them anymore. Just note that this won't mute all emails from the sender, just this one conversation. An email signature is a message appended to the end of all outgoing messages. And Gmail actually lets you configure not just one, but multiple email signatures for your account. Just open settings, see all settings, and scroll down to the signature setting. From here, you can create multiple signatures and choose which ones are used by default. I also recommend checking this box here to make your signature more readable when replying to an email. And if you have multiple email addresses configured through accounts and import, they'll all show up here and you can choose a different signature for each email address you have. Now, when you compose an email, you'll be able to choose which signature you prefer for the message. You can actually save canned responses so you don't have to keep typing them out every time. Just open settings, see all settings and click advanced. From here, you'll see the template setting and you'll wanna enable this and click save changes. Now, when you're responding to an email, just type your response and then you can click the ellipsis menu and choose templates, save draft as template, save as new template. Then you can give it a name here and click save. Now I'll erase this and when I click the menu and open templates, I can choose any of the templates I've saved and it'll insert that text into the email. Really handy if you run a business or organization and you have to respond to emails a lot with the same responses over and over again. Now there's a good chance you have a lot of random emails in your inbox from different services you signed up for and they put you on their mailing list even though you didn't want to. And that's really annoying because after a short while, you just have all of these useless emails piling up in your account. But there's a little trick you can use to separate out all of those subscriptions into their own place really easily. Just search for the word unsubscribe in the search box. Most mailing lists include a link to unsubscribe. So searching for this will pull up all emails with an unsubscribe link inside of them. In other words, these are all the things you've subscribed to whether you wanted to or not. So from here, we can click advanced search, then create filter. Now we can decide 
what to do with all those subscriptions that keep coming in and cluttering up our inbox. First, we'll make it skip the inbox. Then we'll check apply the label and click choose label, new label and type subscriptions. Then be sure to check also apply filter to matching conversations to make sure we archive and label everything that's already in our inbox. Then click create filter. Now, if you have a lot of emails, this can take a few minutes, but now all of those subscriptions are moved into their own folder and out of your inbox. And the great thing is from now on, they'll automatically be filtered out and will show up in this folder. And if you want, you can even spend a little bit of time unsubscribing from the ones you don't want anymore. Normally when you read an email, it opens up into its own page, completely replacing the list of emails until you go back. However, if we open settings and scroll down a little bit, there's an option here to split the screen and show a reading pane either on the right or below your inbox. Now it requires a reload, but once enabled, now we can read our emails while still seeing the inbox and we have this split screen that we can use to adjust the size of the reading pane. I find this makes email a lot easier to manage. So which of these tips and tricks have helped you so far? Leave a comment below. Next up, I'm gonna show you a clever strategy for cleaning up your inbox so you can achieve the rare and elusive empty inbox, AKA inbox zero. Learn how to do that in this short video right here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.